Hey guys, uh, welcome back out to the channel. It's been a uh, quite a while since I've filmed a video on the flathead or did anything with this in a video form. But I've been working on it here and there, trying to get things hooked up, trying to get uh, different things just kind of going. Um, you can see I've done quite a bit of painting. Um, I pulled different parts off, painted them as I could. And uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing here soon is pulling some of these parts off getting them painted but i need to get them off because i need to get measurements and stuff for other parts underneath as well but it's been uh quite a while since i've done anything and you guys may not even know but this baby runs um, i got it started a while ago just haven't done any filming on it i got new motor mounts made for the uh, flathead to sit on so we measured all those out got to all that uh, squared up and also the cross member on the front um, I didn't like how low the front was I would like the traditional style but I already bought this cross member so I went ahead took it apart chopped it and then re-welded it so that it actually gave me the correct height that I was supposed to be at and you guys can see that some of this is pretty wet we're gonna be starting to take some of this apart here in a little bit to uh, take and get this front suspension all actually cleaned up and painted that way i don't have just rust sitting out here and it's actually protected from the weather as well but uh, i'm going to go ahead and get it started real quick so you guys can see it i cannot run it for long obviously because there's no radiator on here uh, a couple things i do need to do is get a radiator generator for this and the fuel pump is not pumping fuel uh, I got a little rigged up stand with lawnmower uh, gas tank, but it's not putting fuel. I've got a fuel pressure gauge hooked up just so I can keep track of that and make sure everything's all right. But let's go ahead and get started real quick. All right, so I, one of the things I do have to be careful of is I do have to make sure that this is actually out of gear because um, it does actually go in gear and drive around and stuff like that. So I have the transmission out of gear and I have a key switch for it but for some reason it's not uh, working right and it doesn't want to turn over the actual starting solenoid so I pretty much just turn this on to get uh, power to the coil and then I use the solenoid little push button just to uh, get it started so I'm pretty sure the battery is charged enough I don't have a generator so I can't hook any of that up but Let's go ahead and see if we can get this started for you guys. And I have a uh, little bottle of fuel. And there she is guys that's uh about all i do um do this a couple times uh, a month uh, just to make sure that everything keeps moving as it's supposed to uh i check the oil at least a couple times a week just to make sure that uh everything is up to par and you guys can see oil looks good it's up in the safe spot So I do come out here and just even every once in a while, if I don't start it, I'll go ahead and get a wrench and, and just uh, turn it over. So you guys can see that oil's pretty clean. Um, obviously, because we don't run it a lot. But uh, I crank it over for uh, not even a full minute. And then... Uh, let it just kind of try to idle for a second by putting a, a little bit of fuel into the carburetor and letting it do its thing. But uh, trying to save up some money, buy little parts here and there. You know, I had to fabricate the engine mounts, so that was uh, a lot cheaper than buying them. Um, got the pucks for like 30 bucks. 
Uh, next thing I want to do is get the leaf spring shackles, which go right here. You guys can see these are all worn out. And I want to get those replaced on both sides. But I'm going to start taking stuff off and getting it painted so that whenever I'm ready, I can just have the frame sitting there and then get the front rolled out, get it all painted, and then we can roll it back in. All right, so one of the first things that we're going to start with is by taking off the steering arm. And uh, this is all new stuff to me. You know, you, nowadays you only see stuff on newer cars, but there's a bushing under here as well that I need to be replacing I believe so I need to figure out what I need to call those and where I need to pick those up but there was also a, um, a cotter pin that goes through here that holds in this cap once you've removed the cap then um, this will come off the little ball that's in there that's supposed to be getting greased, so we'll also see what condition all of this stuff is in, and hopefully we don't have to be purchasing any of this. I wonder if I have to pull this all the way out or if it'll come off. There it goes. Let's roll it over and screw it in a little bit more to so the inside. Looks fairly well. I don't see any badly worn areas. This is supposed to have grease in it. Uh, you can see that there's grease all over that. Let's see what kind of condition the ball is in real quick. That oh that's metal. Well, no, that's like a I can't replace that, I don't think. But that just looks like it covers it. Maybe the grease is supposed to keep. Yeah, there's like hard grease on there. So we can probably scrape some of that off. Pretty sure. Yeah. That's just packed on. Grease, I hope. And this is one of the things that uh, I'm learning about. It's fun to learn about. Is what makes up these cars. Okay, so that comes right up over the top. So we'll leave that right there. And this is that is a rubber bushing. So I got to figure out where to get one of those. So after getting that one arm off, I'm going to go ahead and just get the entire front end out from underneath here. Uh, maybe. i got to lift this up quite a bit. I'm going to have to get the engine hoist and lift it and then set it back down on just the jack stands, I believe. I mean, there's no way I can lift that up by hand because that engine's on there. But I'm going to go ahead and get everything out. Get small parts off and try to get whatever I can sandblasted then painted uh, like this I beam right here we're gonna go ahead and get that just wire wheeled and then paint it up um, I'm hoping that I can get the the hub areas all cleaned up and painted so they aren't sitting out here rusting Instead of trying to get the engine hoist over here and get the front end lifted up with the frame because then I will have to still try to figure out how to get the front end out from around the engine hoist, I'm just going to take the uh, different parts off of here. I'm currently trying to get the shackles off of the... Uh, between the spring, between the leaf spring and the I beam, and once I do that, I should be able to start maneuvering some of this around, get the wheels out, and then the spring will fall down. At least that's the thought in theory. Oh, it's still. 
cotter pins are in like the worst positions ever. All right, so now we got to uh, get the nut off of here. All right guys, so pretty much we shouldn't have anything holding in the, the uh, front suspension now, except for that spring. So we should be able to try and roll that out. So we should be able to try to roll it out. Let's see what's gonna happen. Yep. Just as I thought would happen, so that's good. And we got a lot of the leaf springs all disassembled or I guess all the entire leaf spring disassembled and then we sandblasted it and uh, painted it um, this was one of the old bolts I don't want to use a lot of the old hardware so you can see that we went ahead and grabbed some new hardware for the part that like kind of keeps everything all together from like front to back so one of the things I need to do now is uh, compress the spring so that we can get it all back together and get the center bolt put in. So I've got a, uh, a large clamp and we're gonna put this on here and get this all stuck back together. Hopefully it goes smooth and nothing really twists around or anything crazy. So you can see the uh, leaf spring is now all together and it is going to look fantastic up here. I uh, still gotta find that one 11 inch long leaf, but that shouldn't really be that big of a problem. And then we'll put it all back together. I like that shot better. Looks better sitting up on the tire. So that's all I've got for this part of the uh, front end rebuild. Uh, I've ordered a lot of parts and they're all coming in and then we'll start to be able to replace bushings and things like that. So I sprayed the uh, main leaf and left the bushings in there and I'll just pop those bushings out and then get new ones put in. And then all of the little cup pieces will get all replaced. And then the next step is gonna be the king pins. So just step by step taking it apart so you can see i've already started spraying some of the different arms and parts like that but i don't want to take too much apart yet without exactly knowing what i need because i don't want to lose pieces along the way of the front end rebuild but these videos will be coming out about uh once a week with the car updates and stuff like that because i'm trying to work on that if you guys enjoy the video go ahead hit that thumbs up button appreciate you guys watching if you guys have any questions comments or obviously tips because this is all new for me so any feedback you guys have would uh, be greatly appreciated you guys got to see the car run for the first time which is awesome as well uh, i was happy to get it started for you guys and i uh, need to work on getting a radiator generator and getting the fuel system 
uh, going. Eventually I will get a body and like something to cover up the entire engine. Right now I have like a roof thing that sits over the top of it and it's not damaging it, but I don't want to put a tarp over the top because that creates a lot of rust. So just little things at a time and working my way through this is going to be a long, big project. So stick through it um, and uh, leave comments. Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you guys watching. Hit that subscribe button. See you guys on the next video.